What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a fun review for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. My name is Shamoya. If this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to the Diva family. So today I'm going to be reviewing a recent purchase that I made. Um, I decided that I wanted to go into the drugstore and see some new stuff. Well, not new stuff, but like new stuff to me, things I haven't tried. So I went into CVS a couple weeks ago and I picked up a new foundation and it is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Foundation. I think that's what it's called. This is the e.l.f. Camo Foundation Powder. Um, I don't currently have a good foundation powder and I feel like with summer and with me being all about minimalistic makeup I felt like I needed like a good powder in my collection because powders are usually easier to apply pretty like just easier than liquid so I wanted to pick up a new foundation powder but I wanted to make sure it was from the drugstore so that way it was more accessible to you guys and you know more affordable in general so let's open her up and let's try her in terms of the shade I picked up rich 620 W um, this was the I think the darkest shade in store I don't know how many shades they have I'm actually gonna look that up right now actually I've used a lot of products from elf going back to when I was starting like my skincare journey and stuff my first set of products were mostly from elf I bought brushes from elf I actually have a um, I think I have a camo concealer camel camel I have a camel concealer from elf but it's a little bit too light I think so I haven't used it in a while but I know they have really really good stuff and um, yeah love health they're pretty affordable but pretty wide range as well so I'm actually excited to see what foundation or how many shades they have in this particular foundation so let's pull that up real quick it looks like it's pretty new actually I thought it's been out for a while but I think what I'm confusing is they have the camo concealer and they have a couple other products but the actual foundation is actually new and it's only $11 so you cannot beat that so let's see how many shades they have they have about 32 shades if I calculate it right because I did like a very fast <laughs> count just now but they have shades from fair light medium tan deep and rich um cool neutral and warm tones oh i guess i miscounted because on here it says available in 30 shades and this is described as primer infused which is good because so far i just have my skincare on i haven't applied any primer so perfect I won't be applying any primer so primer infused long wearing foundation formula buildable formula medium to full coverage and semi matte finish crits and airbrushed even complexion uh, available in a wide range of 30 shades and it pairs well with the rest of camel makeup co um, collection so this is the only thing I have and since I'm just kind of going for a quick minimalistic touch up on my face while I uh, get ready to film some other videos I figured I'll go ahead and try this today so like I said I have rich which is the deepest line and I have 620 which is I'm trying to see if that's the no 660 660 neutral is actually the deepest shade so there's three other shades after this one um I think I could, what shade is this? 640 warm. I probably could get away with 640 warm, but it's okay. Let's try it. So that's the box. That's the packaging on here. Diesel. Um, on here, it just says camouflage imperfections and even out your skin, skin tone. I can't talk. Camouflage imperfections and even out your skin tone, which you guys already know. That's what I like. Today. Let me show you guys since I have my phone right here. So this would have been 640. 20 was it 40 or 20 640 w so one shade up would have been oh i don't know if you guys can see the shade really really nice i think i could go with that one as well this is what the packaging looks like just sleek their white packaging 
um, on the back has a shade color as well as what that looks like really really nice simple um, oh it does come with a this is the shade again kind of lights uh, of course the natural light is a little bright I don't know if you guys can see and then of course it comes with the little powder which I never really use those because I just feel like it's not gonna give me the application that I want so again I feel like I could get away with using the 640 warm instead so let's try to swatch it I mean I know it's hard to yeah this is definitely light so that is the swatch it looks a little gray I don't know I don't know I don't know all right so we're gonna dive right in cuz I don't know and it has a mirror so I'm gonna use the mirror it is very what do you call it loose I'm a little scared guys I think I'm gonna focus this on the center of my face and go from there let's hope I don't look at this yeah this looks like a concealer it's very yeah that is definitely not deep but it kind of melts hmm it looks a little ashy for sure Oh God. Uh, I had better hopes for this before. Yeah, I look. That is way too light. Way too light. Oh my God. This should not even be considered deep. This should be like, and this is supposed to be warm. It's not giving me warm right now. 620 warm this was in the rich I think yeah this is in the rich category I'm not you guys see that but let's hope when I spray my setting powder because that's exactly what I'm about to do is spray some setting spray and hope that it won't look like this i look so ashy oh my god this is not rich i'm definitely gonna try the other shade um i don't know when because i need to place an order with with them but I like the idea of just being able to quickly powder my face, which is kind of what I already do. But this is not giving. <laughs> All right, let me try to save this by applying some bronzer, you guys, or contour, you should say. Um, I'm going to use powder on powder because I feel like that is the easiest way to go. Um, so let me try to just give myself a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully doing all this will kind of tone everything out and bring it together. It doesn't look that bad now. and I think once I spray it it will kind of bring everything together so let's do some blush makeup in five minutes ooh it's my favorite all right guys so let me pop on some mascara brush my brows up a little bit and that's pretty much it. I also picked up their concealer, another shade in their concealer, but I'm not going to use that today because obvious reasons. I'm going powder and powder, minimalistic. I do love the way my face look like just powdered and minimal, still my skin. 
But let me get the rest of my face together and then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts. So, final thoughts. I think I want to try that other shade. I want to get that 640 instead of 620. Um, so, in terms of everything, it's explained to be in terms of a primer effect. I mean, there's no way to really feel the primer effect. But I love when you have a product that is like two in one, three in one, because it will save you a lot of time. Honestly, this only took me, the foundation part of it took me like less than five minutes. And if it was my shade, it would probably be faster, brighten the face, but it's still a little bit too light for me, but it's not bad. So I will definitely give it a try again with the other shade. Whenever I get around to it, I'll do an update for you guys. Um, there's also another foundation coming out that I want to give a try. So, um, yeah. Also, if there's any that you want me to try, drop those comments down below. For reference in terms of foundation, I'm usually like Coco or... Because a lot of my foundations are like the NARS, which is Iguaku. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, the other, so for reference, while I'm in my drawer here, I need to throw this out, but the CoverGirl True Blend, I'm like a D80, so deep 80. Um, for the ELF foundation, which is their Flawless Finish Foundation, which is a pretty good shade, is Mocha. That's what it is. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, most in, mo in most like drugstore foundation, I'm usually around mocha so pretty deep um so i don't think this shade per se is a deep shade it's just and it's supposed to be warm and i feel like it's not really warm like that is not warm um the other shade looks warm on camera but um let me just do another swatch for you guys because i feel like you know you can still see that other one but yeah so for me not being like the deepest shade person out there, this is definitely not deep. So 30 shades, pretty decent, but that's the most frustrating thing about like a foundation when you look at it and it's like, not deep, this was rich, my apologies. This was in the rich category. So this is supposed to even be deeper than deep. So for that, it is definitely not deep. Um, when it comes to foundation, I feel like if your foundation is darker than your skin tone, it's easier to fix because you can just lighten up the middle and keep those dark areas because that's kind of look you're going for anyway. But when it's too light, it's just not, it's just not it, it's just not it. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, I should say, or I'm going to hope that they'll come out with more shades. But I'm going to give it a try because I love the way it feels. I can literally feel like pretty much what I already do in terms of when I feel oily, shiny. I just go ahead and powder it down. And this feels good. So, so yeah. That is my review. That is all. It's a pretty quick review. But that is all for now. Let me know if you've tried or are going to try the e.l.f. Camel Foundation. Powder Foundation. So that is it guys. Let me know down below if you enjoyed my review. Let me know if you tried any like foundation products from e.l.f. Cosmetics. What is your thoughts on their foundation or concealer line? I'll try to squeeze the concealer in another light drugstore video. I have to go out and find some products. So I'll do that in the next couple weeks. But yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.